Hello. This is a quick video on Euler and Hamiltonian paths and circuits. A graph is made up of vertices and edges. The vertices are sometimes called nodes and they're indicated with a, a black dot or a circle. Two vertices can be connected by more than one edge. Sometimes this is called a multigraph. For example, in this graph right here, these two vertices are connected by two edges. That's OK. And these two vertices happen to be connected with three edges. Just because two edges cross does not mean there's a vertex there. For example, in this graph right here, this edge crosses this edge but there is no vertex there. Okay, let's talk about Euler paths and Euler circuits. An Euler path visits every edge once. An Euler circuit or cycle visits every edge and it also begins and ends at the same vertex. An Euler circuit is still an Euler path. It, path. It's just a special type of Euler path. So when you're trying to cover edges, you're doing things like uh, plowing roads where you need to go down the road and go down every road and plow. Now, when is this possible? An Euler circuit is possible if every vertex has an even degree. An Euler path is possible, but an Euler circuit is not possible if exactly two vertices have odd degree. I'm going to show some examples on the next slide. And we have no Euler path possible if more than two vertices have odd degree. So let's look at some examples. In this first graph up here that has the five nodes, it also happens to have 10 edges. An Euler circuit is possible. And I know that it's possible because if you take a look at each vertex, there are four edges coming off from each of these, and four is an even number. So in order to make this circuit, I could start here and kind of do the classic star figure. And when I get back here, go around the outside. And that would bring me back to the starting point. There are certainly other ways of doing it. In this multigraph, we have an Euler path, but no Euler circuit. This vertex has degree 3. This vertex has degree 5, and this vertex has degree 4. You need to begin and end your path at a vertex with odd degree. So I'm going to start here, for example, come up here and back, then across here, up, back, and up, and I'm going to end at this particular vertex. This third diagram has no Euler path at all. It has way too many odd vertices. This is an odd. This is odd. This is odd. This is odd. This is odd. So this is not going to be possible. Now let's look at Hamiltonian paths and circuits. Now instead of being interested in covering edges, we're interested in visiting vertices. A Hamiltonian path visits every vertex once. A Hamiltonian circuit or cycle visits every vertex once and begins and ends at the same vertex. Circuits are harder to achieve than paths because you have to get back to your starting point. If you do achieve a circuit, then you automatically have a path. In order to make a path, you just remove one of the edges. Unlike the situation with Euler, which is 
edge visiting. There is generally no theorem that tells if a Hamiltonian path or circuit is possible. You just have to use guess and check. So vertex visiting would be the traveling salesman problem where you have, for example, five cities and you need to get to each city once. You don't really care about what roads you use, but you want to get to each vertex. Now, it might be also that you want to find the shortest path. In this first figure, we have a Hamiltonian and a Hamiltonian circuit. I can follow the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and back to 1, and that would be a Hamiltonian circuit. If I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and do not return to 1, that would just be a path. Notice that I did not cover every edge. I only visited the vertices. In this second figure, I do have a Hamiltonian path, but I do not have a Hamiltonian circuit. And the, the problem is right here with this point A. I can only touch this point A once. The Hamiltonian path is going to start with E and go E, A, B, C, D. Now, that's certainly not the only path. We could start with B and go B, C, D, A, E. But there is no Hamiltonian circuit. In this third diagram, there is no Hamiltonian path at all because if I follow this edge here and I start going around this loop here, I would have to revisit this vertex in order to get out here. Now I would like to return to the Euler situation. Well, before I do that, we do have one theorem that says that a simple graph with n vertices where n is greater than or equal to 3, it is Hamiltonian. There is going to be a Hamiltonian path if every vertex has degree n over 2 or greater. This was proven in 1952, and uh, this is a pretty strong condition because it just means you've got lots of edges from every vertex, so you have lots of choices. Now I'd like to return to the Königsberg problem. Um, I hope you're familiar with this. If you're not, uh, please look it up. This is going to turn into an edge, edge covering problem, an Euler path problem. Königsberg is a wonderful city and there are seven bridges. And the people like to take Sunday afternoon strolls. So the question is, is it possible to cross all seven bridges once? What Euler did is he turned it into a more abstract diagram here. And then he made it even more abstract by making it into a graph. So this island becomes this node, this piece of land becomes this node, this island over here becomes this node, and this piece of land here becomes this node. Notice to get to this piece of land, you can get to it with these three bridges. So the edges of the graph are the bridges. Well, if we look at this, we have degree 3, degree 3, degree 3, and degree 5. So there is going to be no Euler path. In other words, the seven bridges of Königsberg problem has a negative answer. The Sunday afternoon strollers cannot cross each bridge once. They're going to have to cross bridges more than once or retrace their steps. Have a great day.